Hello and welcome to the National Memorial Cemetery of the Pacific. We're in Honolulu, Hawaii. That's a beautiful tree. I need to figure out what kind of tree that is. And there we go. Chinese banyan tree. Well, so anyways, this cemetery is often referred to as the Punch Bowl Cemetery because it's in the Punch Bowl Crater. In other words, uh, it's in an extinct volcano near the center of Honolulu. Very well maintained cemetery as all national cemeteries are. Kind of reminds me a little bit of a national cemetery near where I live in upstate New York, except of course, this one's in Hawaii. This is a very emotional place we're visiting. It's uh, right up there with probably Pearl Harbor in terms of emotional uh, impact. I was reading that uh, it's believed that this volcano only erupted one time, which would make that a monogenetic volcano. All right, we're going to be walking up the grand stairs leading to the memorial, and as we do, I'll give a little information, and then we'll just take a quick look around the memorial itself. In proud memory of the achievements of her sons and in humble tribute to their sacrifice, this memorial has been erected by the United States of America. These men were part of the price that free men have been forced to pay to defend human liberty and rights. To these men we owe a debt to be paid with grateful remembrance of their heroism. Very nice. All right, now, as we head up the grand stairs, there are going to be what is called the eight courts of the missing. We'll come over here and uh, we'll look at that a little closer. Okay, so you see some names here on these walls inscribed. Now, inscribed on these walls are the names of 18,095 American World War II missing from the Pacific, along with 8,210 American missing from the Korean War. And there's also the names of 2,504 Americans missing from the Vietnam War on these walls.
All right, now I'm going to show the inscription underneath here, which is a poignant sympathy written by Abraham Lincoln to Mrs. Bixby, who was a bereaved mother of five sons who died during the Civil War. Here it is right here. It says, the solemn pride that must be yours to have laid so costly a sacrifice upon the altar of freedom. And then you can see <clears throat> inscribed above the, uh, I think you call that a colonnade, it says the marshals. Marianas, Iwo Jima, Okinawa, Tokyo. These are the places where the Pacific Fleet has fought throughout the Pacific region, some of the major battles. And then you can see in there those mosaics, those are maps. So for instance, there's Iwo Jima, and it shows the map, and a, a basic description of the battle and what took place there. There are written descriptions also next to the mosaics. We'll take a look at this chapel. So the official surrender by Japan in Tokyo Bay happened 1,365 days after the attack at Pearl Harbor.
so you can see some buildings from Honolulu with Diamond Head way out in the distance, which is a volcano. And if you were to look at where we are right now from the air, you'd be able to see that we're inside a crater. This memorial has been erected by the United States of America in proud and grateful memory of her soldiers, sailors, Marines, and airmen who laid down their lives in all quarters of the earth that other peoples might be freed from oppression. That's the inscription on the other side. What an amazing memorial. So glad we, we came up to see this. Beautiful tribute. This tree adopted by the Special Forces Association chapter. We're on the rim of that punch bowl crater and we're looking out on Honolulu on a beautiful day. I hope uh, you've enjoyed this look around the uh, the cemetery, the Punch Bowl Cemetery. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.